you're going to learn how to make a linoleum cut print. Um, the image has been drawn on here. You could draw it freehand or you can transfer it by just kind of laying the image on the linoleum and tracing it or outlining it. It'll indent on your linoleum and then you know what to cut away. Um, I drew some X's onto this image. The reason I drew those X's is to get you to start to think about the parts that you're going to remove. So the parts that you actually remove, that's going to be on your paper, that's going to be white or blank or whatever the color of your paper is. The part that you leave is going to be the part that the ink sticks to. So this is just like a stamp. You're removing what we're going to call negative space and leaving what we call positive space. Notice when I cut, I cut away from my body because I don't want to hurt myself. I don't want you to hurt yourself. That is very important to us. Um, notice that I'm using this metal bench hook. This hook is attached to the bottom of my desk so that it doesn't slip. People will cut themselves if you don't use this, so please be very careful and take your time. Okay, so here I want you to notice I have to turn my linoleum. That's because I am more comfortable cutting one way and my hand got to a point where I could no longer cut so I had to actually flip it around. Don't be afraid to flip it around because if you don't you're could be unsafe and that's not good so I'm just going to turn it so that I'm always cutting the same direction which is away from myself. Remember I need you to be safe. Here's our finished work. So just check and make sure you cut everything away that you want. Pick up your roller and squirt a little ink on the bench hook. Roll it back and forth until you hear like a sticky sound. You'll hear it, it'll be sticky, sticky. Now I want you to roll that ink onto your linoleum and just make sure you cover all spots of it. If there's any more cuts that you wanna cut away, this would be the time. Now you're ready for paper. You're gonna place it right over your linoleum plate. Try and get it centered on there and you're gonna apply pressure. Now I'm gonna give you wooden spoons. I was using my hand this day cause I didn't have a wooden spoon in the room but my nails seem to be working there so I continue doing that. But roll it out either, even a clean brayer would be nice but apply a lot of pressure here. Now I have my finished print. I can make as many of these as I want because it's a plate. I could just keep re-inking it and making more. This is my final piece. Here I added some details. They included the text I wanted and the additional colors. These I added in marker just for the sake of time. Um, I hope you guys like this demo and let me know how it works out. I can't wait to see these.